there, and welcome to Pollywog Lagoon. I'm Felina the Mermaid. I like to read stories and play with fun games. If you like watching my videos, you can go ahead and click the red subscribe button. Also, you can leave down in the comments below of what else you'd like to see on my channel. Go ahead and enjoy the rest of the video. Hey there, I'm here with some of the Cars 3 crew today, Lightning McQueen, Mater, and Cruz Ramirez, and they're going to be helping me open up Mermaid Felina's treasure chest. We've got to find a surprise inside. Hey Mater, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing good. Just uh, waiting for Lightning McQueen. Shh. Hey Mater, I'm here. Sorry to make you wait. It's no problem, Lightning McQueen. We're supposed to be meeting a few of the LOLO dolls around here. I suppose they'll be arriving pretty soon. Yeah, um, Dawn just got a hold of me and she is on her way right now. Awesome. I'm so ready to open up this treasure chest and find out what's inside. How about you guys? You want to see what's going on in there? I sure do. Hey guys! The rest of them are coming. Sorry to make you wait. Oh, that's no problem, Don. We haven't been here that long. Oh, good, good. Well, hi, Black Tie and Neon Cutie. Hey, Lightning McQueen. Hey, guys. There's just a couple more coming. Um, Funky Cutie and Bon Bon. Yay, Bon Bon's here. And... Funky cutie, we're ready to get this started. Yeah, I reckon I need to lift one of you up and we'll open up this treasure chest and get this show on the road. Funky cutie, how about you uh, be the one to do the honors? I'm down. All right, we'll back up out of your way and we'll scooch over. I'll just go over here, give you lots of room. Beep, 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 beep. All right, funky cutie, hop on. We're gonna back you up here, lift you up, lift the latch, and away we go. <sighs> We're going to have story time. It's been quite a while since we've been able to have a book read and a couple surprise eggs. Woohoo! We get to read the Disney Pixar Coco book, Miguel and the Amazing Ali Briges. But first, we're going to open up a surprise egg. I think we'll go with the pink one. Okay, Neon Cutie, pink egg it is. It's Miguel and the spirit animal, Dante as an Ali Briges. Oh, silly puppy. Hey, Dante, or Elebrije Dante, whoever you are, stop licking me. That only leaves us one more egg, the yellow one. The amazing Elebrije Pepita. Oh, she is so beautiful. I just love her so much. All of her colors. Whoosh. Now it's time for our story. Coco, Miguel, and the amazing Elebrije. Look at that, the little goat and the lizard and the falcon, butterfly. Oh my goodness, they are all so cute, the kitty. By Ronnie Captain Rivera Ashford and Aaron Rivera Ashford. Illustrated by Ricardo de Los Angeles. A random house picture back book. Miguel Rivera was excited to go to school. His teacher had promised to tell the kids about a special project they were going to make and he could hardly wait. Sounds like so much fun. I love special projects. Good morning class, said Senora Sina, Miguel's teacher. Today we will be doing a paper mache project. Miguel was thrilled. Oh yay, we're gonna make pinatas. No, not pinatas, she said for our special project. We'll be making... Ale Brijes. Ale what? One of the students asked. Ale Brijes. They are colorful sculptures of fantastical creatures, said Senora Sina. Ale Brijes were invented about 100 years ago. They are a combination of ancient and modern Mexican art forms. How did they get that name, Miguel asked. The word Ale Brije came to an artist in a dream, his teacher answered. That's why there is something magical about them. Oh, yes, Dante, you are magical, too. To start the project, you must be inspired, Signora Sina said. Your inspiration will come from animals that live here in Santa Cecilia. Go exploring and make a list of eight of your favorite animals. Eight, Miguel said? That's a lot. You don't have to make eight alebrijes, Miguel. It's okay to make just a few or even one. And the sculptures can be of a particular animal or a combination. Making a list of animals will inspire you to use your imagination. Yes, according to my calculations, eight would definitely be a lot. 
Now that Miguel understood, he was excited to get started. After school, he went to his favorite place, Mariachi Plaza, to look for animals. Right away, he saw pigeons gathered around a fountain. Oh, this is going to be so easy, Miguel. Pigeon animal numero uno. Out of the corner of his eye, Miguel spotted a lizard scurrying past. He tried to catch it, but it was too fast. Lizard animal numero dos, he said. So far, this project is being sort of easy on Miguel. That's good. Oh, it sounds so fun to go out and look for animals. Yes, it does, Don. I love animals. Oh, me too. As a band warmed up, the sound of their music caught Miguel's attention. It's Armando and his acoustic armadillos, he said. They are a fantastico group. Armadillo, animal numero tres. Armadillos! They are one of my favorite animals. Oh, me too, Black Tie. They are so cute. Oh, yes. Miguel searched the plaza, but he didn't see any more animals. Hmm, maybe this is going to be harder than I thought, he said. He sat for a moment, then decided to head home to ask Abuelita for help. Oh, grandmas are always good for some help. Oh, I just love my grandma. When Miguel got home, he told his grandmother about his class project. Abuelita, we are making alibrijes in school, and I need to find five more animals to inspire me. Can you help? Abuelita was excited. Oh, I love alebrijes. They are as unique as their creators. I'm sure you'll make something beautiful. Vamos, let's find inspiration from our familia. Abuelita pulled out old pictures of the Rivera family that they used every year on Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead for the ofrenda, the family altar. Ooh, I love looking at family pictures to see where you have come from. So special. One of the photos showed Mama Imelda with a gray cat. Your great-great-grandmother Imelda loved that cat. She named her Pepita, said Abuelita. Thank you, Abuelita. Cat, animal numero cuatro. We know a Pepita, don't we? Oh, yes, this is Pepita. This is the spirit animal that Mama Imelda's cat turned into. What a beautiful Pepita she is. Do you have a favorite animal, Miguel asked. Abuelita laughed. Yes, once I had a pet goat named Diego. Did you know goats will eat just about anything? He would even eat our laundry. Miguel laughed. Goat animal numero cinco. Oh, I am a big fan of billy goats here. They're just the cutest little critters around. What about you, Mama Coco? Miguel asked. His great-grandmother had been listening to them all along. Bonita, she whispered, pointing out the window. Miguel turned and saw a red-tailed hawk in the sky. Wow, I never would have noticed that. Hawk, animal numero six, he said. Gracias, Mama Coco. Just then, a butterfly landed on the windowsill. Abuelita leaned over and whispered to Miguel, In our country, butterflies, or mariposas, are known as animal guides. And you know what, mijito? It is said that with their migration to Mexico every year, they bring lost spirits home for Dia de los Muertos. Oh, butterflies? They're one of my very favorites. That's so cool, Abuelita, Miguel said. Butterfly, animal numero siete. Only one more to go. Miguel searched everywhere for one last animal to put on his list. He walked to a quiet area just outside of town. Music is meant to bring people together, he said as he began to play his homemade guitar. Maybe it will help me find my last animal too. Suddenly he heard a noise. It was his perro pal, Dante, singing along. Ow! Hey, Dante! <laughs> Ow! How could I forget about you, Dante? Dog, animal numero ocho! In school the next day, Miguel worked hard on his project. You've got some interesting combinations, said his teacher. How did you choose your alebrijes? I don't feel like I chose them, Senor Sina. In a magical way, it feels like they chose me. At home, Miguel presented his familia with the alebrijes. First, he gave Mama Coco one that resembled the hawk she had spotted. Next, he gave Abuelita one of Diego with a piece of her favorite apron hanging from his mouth. She laughed so hard, she loved it. And finally, Miguel placed the alibrijes of Pepita and Dante next to the ofrenda. He was proud of his creations. Miguel knew in his heart that Mama Imelda would have loved hers, and he also had a feeling she would like Pepita's new friend, Dante. This little kitty is different from this Pepita, but that is okay. 
We have two alebrijes here, Dante and Pepita, and they are so beautiful. It makes me want to make an alebrije. That's a really good idea. Maybe we'll make an alebrije here too. Mm hmm. Oh, in our book, we have some beautiful stickers. Seize your moment. Here are some alebrijes that are cutouts. What a silly looking little guy this one is. Oh, it's such a beautiful blue little lizard. The goat and the kitty. Oh, the end. What a wonderful book about alebrijes. Oh, we are so glad that you could all join us for this wonderful book reading of Miguel and the Amazing Alebrijes. What a beautiful story. Until we see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for stopping by. See you again next time.